Whoa. Woo! <laughs> Okay guys, we've got this, um, what is it called, Retro Series, it's a, it's one of those, um, um, hot dog makers and hot dog cookers and, and bun warmers, um, I've seen a lot of you guys doing these on YouTube, and again, a lot of, a lot of mixed, uh, a lot of mixed, uh, reviews on it, but, I wanted to try it myself. So, I got one yesterday. We went to a liquidation uh, sale place. And um, we'd been there before. Monkey, we walked in. She wasn't there five seconds. Seen this, picked it up, handed it to me. Excuse me. And said, here you go. So, I just uh, wanted to try it for myself. So, I thought I'd share the experience with you guys. Now, over here on, on the side, here's your tongs. Which, ironically, they're metal. And... I remember mom always saying, don't stick a knife or anything metal in that toaster. Because, you know, when the bread wouldn't pop up, we'd try to pry it up. Unplug that before you do that. So, ironically, and it doesn't say anything about it in the instructions. I guess it's just common sense. Don't jam it down in there too far. Okay, so, you got your knob here. This is, it goes from one to five on your setting. Now, if, if you have to stop, it says like if it starts smoking real bad, like say you didn't clean out the, uh, what they call a crumb catcher on the bottom, like a toaster has. Uh, if it starts smoking, something's burning, you know, grease or whatnot, if this is on, you don't flip this up. It's, it's got an electromagnetic uh, thing inside here that holds this down. Now, once you, once you push this button here, it'll pop it up, you're good to go. Unplug it, take it outside. Now I've noticed the sides of this is plastic, but uh, it doesn't seem to be too warm yet. So let's get a couple dogs in here, all right? And let's start this on say I don't know three and a half. Depends on how how you want them and how you want your buns toasted. So let's um, put these in here. Now to be brutally honest with you, I'm not very hungry because <laughs> this is the second time I'm filming this, guys. Because the first time I did the whole thing sitting here looking at the camera, talking, doing all this. And guess what? I did not hit the record button. So, but it is recording now. So, alright guys, let's try this. And uh, let's see what happens. I've got it on about three and a half right now. And uh, let's give it a shot. It also says that... Okay, went down in. It also says that, like a tip for to cook these hot dogs faster in your buns, to keep them, uh, take them out of the refrigerator, let them get up to room temperature first. Now, I never keep my buns in, in, in the refrigerator because, trust me, if I know a lot of you guys do, girls, whatever. A lot of people do. I don't because I feel it takes the moisture out of the bread or buns or whatever I've got in there. And it gets stale really fast. So, um, I can hear it cooking. Smells like a hot dog cooking. Uh, let's let it do its thing. And uh, we'll let it pop up. And then we'll check it out. Okay, guys. So, it popped up. It didn't quite go all the way. But it did pop up. The buns are nicely toasted. A little bit burnt right there, but that's from touching the sides. It's no big deal. I can handle that. Okay, so same way with this one. Nice and toasted. Um, now what we're going to do, now I've, look at this. I'm feeling it. Don't do this, kids, but it's not hot at all. So, alright, so let's, um, they want you to get the internal temperature of your hot dogs up to 160 degrees. So... Let's check and see how close we are with our handy dandy thermometer fork here. It's pretty hot. Alright. Ooh. I want to pop through. Alright. Let's see, we're at. I don't know if you can see that. Can you? 
what's that, 100 and, there's 116. Okay, we've got it up to what, 161? So, now what I did was it went up to 132 and I put them back in on the one setting for a cycle and it's up to 161 right now. So if you want the internal temperature at 160 degrees like it recommends, then I would recommend putting it on four to four and a half. So let's go ahead and we'll put these on here. Now I know what you guys are gonna say. You gotta taste test it. Well, I don't know why because it's no different from putting it in the microwave. There's this is not flavor cooking, it's just heating it up. Or it'd be like heating it up in the oven. It's not like I'm smoking it on a barbecue grill with charcoal, but I will go ahead and taste test this for you. Alright, because I know you guys like to see people taste test, and I don't know why. Like I said, I didn't put it on the grill with flavoring and all that. All, all I did was heat it up. So, alright, let's... let's I don't like when the hot dogs, you know, when you got that much bun. I like I like the same amount of meat and dogs, so I'll go. So there Oh my god! Mmm! Oh mm. Oh gee. Ah fuck that. It tastes like a hot dog. Um don't you hate when people do that? It's like Okay, if it's good, it's good, but to this, this is just hot dog. You're, you're not going to get a barbecue, barbecue flavor out of it, you know, but do I like this thing? Yes. Um, now it's time to get Bruno's hot dog. He's waiting patiently. He loves hot dogs. Can you see him over there? What's up, boy? You want a hot dog? You want a hot dog? You want a hot dog? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to make him his hot dog, and uh, I want to say... Uh, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Monkey, thanks for this thing. If anything, that's going to look cool sitting out here because it reminds me of a car, you know, with the chrome and, you know, the pearl red or candy red. So, again, guys, I just want to say, hope you all have a great week. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.